And how old is everybody? Can you just say how you're Alan and then your age and Lloyd, your age, Jessica, your age? Uh, Alan, I am 20 years old. Uh, I'm Lloyd, I am 22 years old. Jess, I am 21 years old. And Alan, number two, I am 20 <laughs> years old. Wow, that is so exciting. We'll skip Liza and I, right? Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. So, um, let's talk about. You said it's really big because our cultural is cu cultural is big, right? Yeah. So talk about that. Why do you feel that? Why why is being Pinoy big? Well, um, I guess over here in the Bay Area, like Filipino, there's a lot of Filipinos, and uh, we always always trying to make a mark and trying to be known in the community and in the media, and we always uh, we're always trying to show that we, we're here, we're trying to make a presence, and uh, I think that by showing off like culture and dance and showing off what we can do as a group and the Kaba buying program at Skyline it's a way for us to actually show off what we offer and culture and expose people who don't know really too much about Filipinos to actually get a chance and insight to see what kind of issues they face and you know different kinds of things that we go through. Um, Great and well I saw you know Jessica's eyes light up as the artistic director over there <laughs> yeah. and our female voice. So as an artistic director, what do you think, where's the marriage there between being Pinay and this play? Um, let me start off with my experience. Um, growing up in high school, I had, no, um, I had no outlet to really discover my culture, know anything about my roots. I didn't know anything about myself until I reached Skyline College and I took Liza's English class. And I started to learn more and more about myself. I actually can I finished my English with her and that's how I got into the artistic aspect because I'm an art major and from there my love for culture escalated and I learned a lot about how culture is important. A good quote that really continued that really fired my passion is you need to know where your roots are in order to know where you're going. So from then on I continued to just really dig deep like i go to so many empowering events for like filipinos like outreach like i did outside uh theater with a lot of with a lot of the filipino community they're all um non-profit and it's just because of my love i grew i continue to grow i got into cultural dancing um how that ended up happening we had just uh master kalinduyan rep to him he teaches that San Francisco State, and he be, he basically teaches schooling tongue, and so with that music, and not just that, but cultural dance, uh, Bonifacio, and Vicky Hafelia from Barangay Dance Company, they helped us form KDT Dance Troupe. We're basically a nonprofit organization, and we dance throughout the area. We get paid, and we don't, but just to support Filipinos, and we continue just to thrive. Um, my partner here. Head choreographer can relate to that. Yeah, Ellen, talk a little bit because obviously it's going to be a mix of different dances, right? And so, what motivates you around um, creating something new? Um, well, for Filipino, you know, for Filipinos in general, um, our culture, not, um, recently our culture has been like, it's been centered around a lot of modern dances. You, you can see it a lot on, on on TV and whatnot. You see a lot of uh, Filipinos showing up on cultural. I mean, modern dances, but also, we also want to represent the cultural aspect. You know, that's a, that's a major part of our culture. Um, and that's, that's, that's the part that not a lot of people know too much about, the cultural dancing. Um, and that, that's one of my motivational drives, to, um, to work with the cultural dances for the play. Um, teach people who have never danced cultural before and show them what it's about, because it's really something. Um, when you dance cultural, it's, a, it's really a... a a strong link to your past, to your culture that not, not a lot of people know too much about. So, Yeah, no, no, it's really touching to me because, you know, um